Guys, here's a quick earthquake quickie, so to speak. Morris County in the USA in New Jersey became the center of hysteria as a series of quakes hit it. Like seven quakes from a magnitude 0.7 to over magnitude 2 rocked the Randolph area seven times and the nearby Mentum area basically roughly in a 17 hour span that's according to the u.s geological survey so this was a week of high seismic activity in the region not an area where you usually would expect an earthquake swarm to happen of course all the earthquakes were not super super big but thankfully no injuries or damage was reported the mayor of Randolph said we're in touch with the state of New Jersey on the situation and we will continue to prioritize the safety and well-being of the Randolph community. The earthquakes occurred at southeastern portion of the township. 1.6 in the morning, 540, depth of 5 kilometers, 1.3, depth of 5 kilometers, 1.2, 5 kilometers depth, 2.0 at 9 p.m. in the evening, 5 kilometers, and then another 1.1 in the evening, 5.2 kilometers. So the USGS perceived shaking scale, if there's earthquakes that fall in the range of 1.2, Four, between 1.4 and 3.9 in magnitude, they are light with the risk of potential damage basically being none. Earthquakes that are even smaller between 1.3 and 0 0.17 are considered weak in the shaking scale. All of these earthquakes that happened there are pale in comparison to the one that shook up the entire state on April 5th last year, 2024. It was the strongest earthquake in New Jersey since 1783 with a 4.8 magnitude. And for comparison, I have just released a video. Campi Flegre had a magnitude 4 and now they're railway tunnels are severely damaged the old one and the new one that is just under construction because they're building it right on top of the epicenter right underneath the super volcano right underneath the solfatara basically all of these earthquakes at shallow depth roughly three miles five kilometers that occurred in Morris County formed a localized earthquake swarm. And you see this on the map as well of like shallow seismic activity. And if they're more shallow, you can feel them better. The residents heard it. They reported loud booms and they felt light shaking in their homes. So it's not that nobody felt anything. Several 911 calls were placed to local emergency systems and services. And the Morris County Office of Emergency Management has confirmed that there were no reports of any damages of injuries when people were calling, but people were worried when they called. And who's responsible for that? So the affected area lies near the Ramapo Fault system. It's a known source of intraplate seismicity in the Northeastern United States. It's not considered a highly active seismic region, but earthquake swarm and isolated, isolated tremors do occur intermittently, as we see right now. The Ramapo fault system is actually a network of several fault lines and is located in the northeastern United States, um, primarily in New York, New Jersey, and in Pennsylvania. So Butterfly, be careful. She's a viewer of, of this channel and knows she lives in Pennsylvania. So it's a significant geological feature that's associated with earthquakes in the region. And the fault system is part of a larger seismically active area and it has been active at various times throughout earth's history and it stretches the fault system stretch over 185 miles that's almost 300 kilometers and now eddie doesn't want me to continue it seems um it's situated between the northern appalachian mountains and the piedmont areas to the east and it is known for its seismic activity and it has produced earthquakes 
up to a magnitude of 5.2, and that is significant, especially if it's shallow. That can do a lot of damage. The Ramapo fault system also played historically a role in the formation of the Newark Basin. And of course, the recent earthquake activity in New Jersey has brought attention back to that Ramapo fault system and its potential to generate earthquakes and earthquake swarms. Because these earthquakes are felt over a wide area due to the region's hard and dense rocks that transmit seismic energy quite well. Also, because of this geological setting there, compared to the West Coast, earthquakes in the Northeast can be felt at great distance and they can cause more pronounced shaking because of these rocks. They're harder and they're more dense. In New Jersey and of course elsewhere, these earthquakes usually occur when like a slowly accumulated strain within the Earth's crust is suddenly released along a fault line. And then the energy from this movement travels as seismic waves along the ground surface within the Earth. And also here, these earthquakes in New Jersey are caused by the release of energy at the Earth's plate as the Earth's plates move. And the surface where that slippage occurs is called a fault. So the majority of the quakes that we see in New Jersey happens along the Ramapu Fault. New Jersey is in an area where the rarer plate interior related earthquakes occur. Because as plates continue to move and plate boundaries change geologically over time, these weakened boundary regions become part of the interiors of the plates. And then these zones of weakness within the continents can cause earthquakes in response to stresses that originate at the edges of the plate or in the deeper crust of the plate. So nothing super surprising, nothing bad is hopefully going to happen, but very interesting to see earthquakes in this area because usually it's always on the West Coast, but I know New Madrid and all these other fault lines. I have made videos about that. If you're interested in that, search for it um, on my start page, on my YouTube start page under videos. And of course, subscribe so that you get the latest. There's so much going on, guys. I almost have no voice left because this is the second video in a row that I'm recording. So if you want to support the channel, buy me a coffee, link is in the description, or click the join button, become a supporting member for behind the scenes stuff, or send me a super. Thanks guys, whoever's doing this, you're awesome. Thank you for watching. Hello to all new members and new subscribers, and to the ones that maybe want to become a subscriber. See you in the next one, hopefully here, if you click one of those. Bye-bye.